Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana and I have the master of camouflage. Now he's small, hopefully you can see him crawling on me right here, but we're talking about a Vietnamese walking stick. Of course, this one a baby. They're not going to get too much bigger, but what a cool animal this is. Now, of course, walking sticks, they get that name because they literally look like a walking stick. And I said masters of camouflage because when this guy sits up in a branch, it takes everything you have to be able to find them. We have 13 new ones here at the zoo, and so half the fun is just looking for them. We're gonna give you some close-ups here of this guy in just a minute, but what's so neat about these walking sticks is obviously they blend in because they look like part of the, the tree or bush that they're sitting in, but on top of that, they also go above and beyond that by swaying on their legs, and a lot of times they'll do that to mimic the breezes that are actually going through the bushes, so it looks like they're one of those sticks swaying in the wind. Now on top of that, these walking sticks, well they're pretty special because they don't have too many predators. Birds of course will eat them, but because they blend in, well they actually hide so well that not much, many things eat them. But get this, there is one animal that's really good at hunting them and that's the bat. Because bats echolocation is so sensitive that it can actually hear these guys moving in the bushes and a lot of times the bats are able to eat them because of that. Now, there's one thing about the walking sticks that I think make them so unique and so cool, and girls, you're gonna love this. The walking sticks, they do not need boys in order to have babies. So what does that mean? That means if all the boy walking sticks out there die out, it's okay, they're still gonna survive. And believe it or not, the females can have a fully female-dominated society. Now, males are still important, don't get me wrong, but believe it or not, there does not have to be a boy to have baby walking sticks. How crazy is that? I'm sorry, boys, but girls, yeah, time to cheer. Pretty amazing stuff. But anyway, one other thing about them, as small as they are, get this, they can actually live up to 15 years here at the zoo. Now in the wild, maybe a year or so, but obviously with the right food here at the zoo, these guys are gonna live pretty long. And last but not least, my favorite thing about them, if they lose one of their legs, it can grow back. How cool is that? Maybe one of the neater animals I've had on the video in quite a while. But anyway, guys, this is the Vietnamese walking stick, 13 here at the zoo. We want you to come and see if you can find all 13. If you do, I might even have a prize for you. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy with our walking stick, and we'll see you at the zoo.